Playground go bye-bye. I mean, it kind of did, I guess. It just fell over. You fell off. Plus ratio. Plus you're a playground. Maybe give it a glass of water and a warm meal and it'll wake right back up. You know what I'm saying? Someone just lost their suitcase. Oh! They just straight up left it. It looks like it's in the middle of nowhere out there. Got a cut on booth fingers and now can't hold a pick. Oh, well, you're going to have to start working on the middle fingers, man. And not just for what you used to work on them for. I was enjoying my vacation. Was. All oh, right. Someone's always got to be breaking the hell in. Vecna happening to my lettuce. It's what? Oh, so your lettuce is just getting gross. Who infected it? Blue Waffles did. Our cat didn't like his new litter box. Finally found the smell. Oh, thanks, you little turd. You know, my cat Munchkin did that a couple of times. Then I put him in a pillowcase for four days and, oh, we don't have that problem. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't want any of you to think that I'm not joking and start yelling at me on Twitter about something like, no, don't, don't. It was clearly a goddamn joke, at least for now. My beer froze a bit. A bit? You want to undersell more things to me, man? Your beer froze so hard it has a thrasher metal haircut. My thumbnail after getting hit with a piece of granite. It was hit with a piece of granite? You need to give us some more detail here. Asked my wife to keep the oven on low for the burgers. Puts it on low, broil, and forget to take the plastic cover off. No! Ooh, hey. <laughs> well, those don't look too bad, let's be real. Someone's shoveling bugs tomorrow. Wow. I'm speechless. Uh, if I showed up to work and I was told I had to clean that up, I'd quit. No, I'm not an arrogant jackass that wouldn't do my job. I hate bugs. I will not get near bugs. Get the boy away from me, you creepy little freaks. I accidentally dropped the tab into the can. I've only done that once. You just gotta be real careful going forward, dude. Came home after a 12 plus hour day of work to find this. Did it cause any structural damage to your home or anything like that? Or is it just gonna be annoying to get out of the way? Seriously, think about this one. Could have been a lot worse. Got home and there's no meat on my bacon cheeseburger. To be fair, the bacon and cheese are spot on. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely interesting. It definitely does not beat, however, the one time I ordered a few regular dollar <clears throat> cheeseburgers from McDonald's, and when I got home, there was no beef patty. It was cheese and condiments on bread. I begrudgingly ate everything anyway. Looks like someone tried to steal my car last night. Well, they certainly tried. I wonder why they gave up. Maybe because they noticed halfway through there's a clutch and they didn't want to bother with a manual? Ordered a quarter pounder from Uber Eats, three pound delivery fee and other fees. Um, hmm. Something seems a little incorrect here. Also, can we just talk about the fact that your $5 burger becomes a $47 order through Uber and DoorDash and whoever, but the driver gets paid nine cents, and if you don't give them a giant tip, they virtually make nothing at all. These services are trash. Oh, that's where my prescription sunglasses went. Oh, into the lawnmower. Why'd you put them there? That's a terrible place to put them. Tripped and grabbed my car door handle. Oh, I know what's got... Yep, there it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know how cars are constructed these days. Poorly. My poor neighbor. Direct hit. Oh, shoot. Let's hope he's got the full coverage for that one. The roundabout near my house caught fire. Just the roundabout? How often does a roundabout have anything happen to it at all, let alone fire? It took me 15 minutes to finally get the key out of the ignition. <laughs> oh, Honda, thanks a lot. Well, and any other car brain. There are those moments where you just can't get the sucker out of there for some reason. When your friend's plane lands early in Atlanta, but the brake fails and catches fire upon landing. Well, look, they're not designed to do that, but they're designed to be able to safely stop if that happens. First day in months I've had off to play games. Damn, that, mm, dude, I, I'm sorry. That's an expensive monitor, and I apologize on behalf of the universe. Morning commute. A nail got stuck to my tire last night, and my tire decided to explode halfway to work. Well, at least you're okay. No, seriously, think about this. Sometimes you gotta look at the silver linings, okay? 
slipped down the stairs, and my elbow landed on my bag. Now, my iPad is curved. Does it still work? But does it- does it still work, though? Partner left this under the pan while cooking. Left what? What is that, a Ziploc bag? What a moron! My robot projects feel off my- wait, my robot projects feel off my- What is this? And most of the parts are broken. Anyway, let's take a look at the- oh no. Mm, I'm so sorry. Went camping with the buddies last weekend and found this surprise in my tire. Hey, I found one of your tent pegs. In case you were wondering where one went. Well, I wasn't. What would you like me to do about it? No, for real though, that sucks, dude. My pizza that got delivered tonight. Hmm, looks like your pizza that's going to be returned. Or refunded completely. I'll still eat it. But I'm not gonna be paying for it if it's arriving like this, come on. My watermelon randomly exploded. It actually full-on exploded? Are you sure you didn't do anything to it? Come on, we're not gonna judge you. None of the pieces fit. This was supposed to be relaxing. None of them fit? Dude, return it. Take this photo with you and give it back. Look, a lot of places are gonna take it back, no questions asked anyway, dude. Rip food. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, I'm sorry, man. There's not much we can do for you. Just dry the sucker out and send it to a recycling facility. How MSI returned my parts from an RMA defective motherboard. Wow. N no, that, mm -mm. no, they're paying for all of that <laughs> shit. MSI, are you frickin' kidding me? Are you actually kidding? kidding me screw you my sister dropped a liter bottle of buffalo sauce are you sure your sister didn't accidentally fall into pieces maybe rip open that's no come on before i was meant to wake up i heard a noise of something crashing to the ground and breaking into pieces didn't check immediately but got up a couple of minutes later to see this the shower door for those confused how in the hell did your shower door explode? Do you have a cat? A cat that knows how to shoot a gun? Went kayaking in 100 degree heat. Put my sandals back on at the beach to find that they shrunk. <laughs> just a little bit, just a teensy weensy little bit, huh? Only two hours into having a six year old guest. Hope we can get it fixed. A six year old guest? Was it someone else's kid? Well. I think the parents get to buy you a new TV. Put a soda in the hotel refrigerator last night, and apparently it was way colder than it should have been. Yeah, some of those are really just freezers. It sucks. I just wanted some chips. Well, that's too damn bad, dude. Chance of dying from this raw Sonic chicken sandwich? Oh, your chance? Well, I don't think it's very high, but you should go back and say, hey, I just bit into a raw chicken sandwich. What the fuck? Well, oh, I'm so sorry. Moments like this are last straw that broke the camel's back kind of moments for a lot of people. I know it would be for me. Someone broke into and now is living in my grandfather's old storefront and turned it into a drug den. Huh. Uh, was no one watching the old storefront? Stray bullet hit the hood of my car on the 4th. Oh, that's really, really cool. Not only are people causing fucking wildfires because of their goddamn fireworks, but they're shooting into the air, which destroys people's property and can potentially kill them. Knock it the fuck off. This one tried to make it through the flooded street. Did it work? No. It's a valuable lesson. Don't think you're better than the world. Don't think you're stronger than God. I'm in suite 86. Okay, suites 1 through 29, uh, 30 through 46, 87 and 88, and, um, uh, wait, hold on. Maple syrup spilling in my fridge. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually devastating. Even if it's on a shelf where you can pop the sucker out and really clean it by hand, that just feels awful. Either my dog got bored, or somebody brought home a tall beaver. And I can't find the beaver! Yeah, I think your dog really got bored. Or, you've got the weirdest termites in human history. Puppies ripped apart a neck pillow in my son's room. Millions of tiny polyester foam balls everywhere. Oh, that's great! Microplastics to the fucking rescue! And it was made for kids! Woo! Yeah, the previous generations got lead poisoning. We eat fucking plastic. Thanks a lot, boomers. Passengers, totally fine. Car, not so much. Well, that's kind of the idea. 
I know this sucks, this definitely sucks, but that's why cars are designed the way they are. Boy, the car, you need to be able to walk away. The wind knocked over a vase and it hit my treadmill just as I was going to start using it again. Hope it's not a sign. Nope, I don't think it can be. You just gotta keep going, bro. My FLT, I don't know what that's supposed to be, had some issues today, right in the middle of a packaging delivery. Truck electrical system error. Contact your service partner. What? Contact your si- Now oh, shut up. Hey, Cleaning a microwave is really fun, and you're gonna learn. On a trip, booked a first floor room. First floor is really the basement. Beautiful view out of the tiny window. Your air conditioner probably works a little bit better down there though, right? Someone sawed off my wing mirror this morning. They sawed it off. Can you make money off of a sawed, fucked up mirror, can you? What's even the point? Someone had a bad day in the DC Metro. I sh myself. Please help. God bless. What would you like me to do that will help you? Donate it with one cup to two girls. Thank you. My master key ring broke. Key identification card. Whoops. <laughs> I'm starting to think this view isn't worth golfers aiming directly at our homes. Really? That place better insure you, or at least better pay you back in cash for all the damage I'm sure those golfers cause. That is ridiculous. Someone managed to lose their new box of lost item trackers. Oh man, isn't that like 250 bucks as well? Knowing Apple, it's probably more expensive, but... Ooh, that must suck. Results from an allergy test. My body reacts to every type of local allergen. Woo, and not well, I might add. Uh, it's gonna be a rough go of it for a while, my friend, but at least you know, someone decided to play tic-tac-toe on my car. Oh, and it wasn't in the dirt or something. They just scratched it into your goddamn paint. Ooh, ooh, ooh these are making me mad. No caramel for my ice cream, I guess. Ugh, okay. Wow, how in the world? Have cats, they said. It'll be fun, they said. No cats were harmed and no plants were seriously injured. <laughs> really? The plants weren't seriously injured? All right, that's impressive. Good on them. Late for work. Shut the fridge door too hard. Knocked a wine bottle off the fridge. Hit my coffee. Bad morning. Wow. <laughs> I've had pretty bad mornings like that before. Never with a wine bottle, though. First night of vacation, and we go to pull out the sofa bed for the kids. Hear a loud crunching sound. Son's iPhone fell between the cushions and got caught in the hinges of the bed frame. Whoa! Dang, that sucker is gone, though. It's 3 a.m., everyone's asleep, and I've been trying to get out of my room for 30 minutes. What? What happened there, man? Currently stuck in an elevator in my apartment building. Was told about 40 minutes until the tech arrives, and I have to pee. Well, pick a corner, dude. I asked my friend to spray sunscreen on my back. Not the most even coat. Yeah, the sprays? You're still supposed to spread them around by hand. I traveled from the UK all the way to Germany to take photos of the devil's eye. But when I got there, oh, really? What? That actually makes me kind of sad. Unless that's just normal. If that's normal and what it usually looks like during a specific time of year, then that's fine. But for some strange reason, I'm upset. Thought I bought forks. No, you did not. I ordered gummy vitamins on Amazon and live in Arizona. Ooh. Well, now you only have to take one vitamin that says one a day, but now you can take that one for like the next two years. Apparently, I have alopecia now. Oh, what? I, I see pictures of this all the time with the bananas self-peeling when they're hung like that. I've never seen it in real life though. Is it really that common? My most useful little kitchen knife went to the great drawer in the sky today after 18 years. Wow, 18 years, it was looking pretty good. That's how long a knife should last at minimum, by the way. I see a lot of people posting their allergy tests here. Behold, 40 environmental allergies, allergic to all of them. Oh man, oof, that is gonna be a rough go, my friend. Taking my food to bed was a bad idea. Yeah, I could have told you that long before you took it to bed. Yeah, I'm a big proponent of not eating in your bed. Hell, I don't even like doing it at my desk, all right? I wore shorts to work last night because it was 75 degrees out. This is what it looked like outside this morning after my shift. <laughs> there are a lot of places you could live. It's a lot like that here in Colorado as well. Mold killer in my bathroom is at 
itself moldy. I hate this flat so much. Oh my god, no way. I'm really, really tired of rentals being allowed to have mold in them. If I tell you there's mold anywhere, you better get your ass on fixing it. No, not in a month, tomorrow. Phone slipped out of my pocket while mowing, and I didn't notice until the music and my AirPods stopped. Oh, I wonder why they stopped. Brother was only able to grab his phone. No injuries. Holy crap, what happened? Did he leave the stove on for a week and a half? Did he not clean out the lint in his dryer? That was such a cool house, too. Is it funnier knowing that these are antidepressants? I don't think it makes it any funnier. It just makes me more upset. Got it delivered vertically. Still ate it. Eight out of 10. Well, as long as it tastes good and you're fine with it, that's great. However, I would still get my money back. This pillar was straight last week. This is the first floor of a seven floor building. Oh no, 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 no. Get the hell out of there now. My sister tried making popcorn at work today. It didn't go very well. Oh, <laughs> that's all you need to say, man. Don't ever trust the popcorn button. If we're being real though for a quick minute, how the hell do you mess up making popcorn so bad that the firefighters have to come out? I'll just do my makeup in the car like a stupid idiot. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Get out the hand vac. When you realize it's been a little too quiet in the office lately, 638 new missed calls. Wow, you're about to get fired for something that's not your fault. Or at the very least, have your pay docked or something. I don't know, but your job's about to get a lot easier. <laughs> Found out my neighbor sleeps with a loaded firearm today. Corner of my computer desk right behind my monitor. Whoa, dude, someone is in big <laughs> trouble. That dude could have killed you. He was very close to doing so. Look. Have a loaded gun nearby, you know, if you hear a sound, you can get out of bed, pop it out of a <laughs> drawer across the room or something like that. But if you sleep with it like under your pillow where you could grab it and shoot it, maybe you're a moron. Galapagos rock formation, Darwin's arch collapses from erosion. What? Come on, man. At least this was a natural occurrence. Or at least I really hope it was a natural occurrence. It said erosion, which is natural, but you never know. It could have been like a Boy Scout troop leader or something that decided to knock it down to make it safer for kids or some shit. It's happened before. Went to the gas station last night for five minutes to get beer and came back to this. My room is the window to the right. I feel insanely lucky right now. Might go gambling later. Holy God. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I wouldn't feel insanely lucky. I mean, I kind of would for a split second, but for the most part, I'd be scared to go home. Who knows, that car might come back as a phantom and try to finish the job. My mom was just finishing cleaning the kitchen and then spilled a bag of chia seeds on the ground. I've been there, man. Not with those seeds specifically, but dude, I've been there. My apartment received a shockwave from a missile that hit my neighborhood. I hate this planet, dude, holy crap. My younger siblings destroyed my final from high school fine arts class. Oh, that's really nice of them. Woohoo! I bet your teacher was still a dick about it and went, eh, eh, gotta do it again. Got a smoking deal on this cable. Ooh, ooh, no, they're not supposed to do that. I don't know if you know. Anyone else have to remove their washer agitator because they washed a new box of staples? Or is it just me? Oh, you washed a new box of staples, huh? Okay. <laughs> God dang it, are you kidding me? Back in my day, the only thing we did to wet concrete was carve our name and the date into the side of it. And usually they let us do it because they don't care, but that's a whole different story. No, officer, I'm not a drug user. I found out that I'm allergic to the adhesive tape my doctor used. Oh, that sucks. What's up with the allergy theme today? Everyone's allergic to everything now. The first day of lockdown in my city and my toddler does this. Oof, it's gonna be a long one for you. I know this was probably posted a year ago or something like that, but you know what? I'm sure you made it through just fine. Look at you, champ. Just labeled recycling. All goes in the trash. Yeah, funny how that works, right? Recycling's actually a big load of bullshit, unless it's aluminum. Yeah, that gets recycled all the time. Everything else, they just throw it away. Drove four hours round trip to see an active volcano today while on vacation. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see this all too often. I don't know why this is such a constant with volcanoes. Tone slipped out of my pocket while go-karting and became wedged under the cart. This is what I found at the end of the lap. And quite impressive, really. I mean, right? It held up pretty well. This f***er crawled in my shorts and stung my balls. Hands down the most painful experience of my life. Oh, and it's super tiny, too. Ooh, 
Hope you're doing all right. I've always heard the smaller, the more dangerous. Bird shot on my window while it was open, and it got splattered onto my bed. God, they're getting kind of advanced now, aren't they? That's a pretty good hit. Right on target, bird. A bird crapped in the open mouthpiece of my coffee. Ooh, another bullseye. Seriously, it's actually quite impressive, I must say. Saved four years to buy a BMW. Three days later, this piece of metal bounced on the highway into my headlight, destroying it and the module. The dealership wants $2,900 to fix it. Wow, that is... I'm sorry, man, that is some serious bullshit right there. Talk about luck. My front yard 12 hours ago. Well, I mean, at least you up high though, right? Like you're fine up there. My ah exploded on a record breaking heat wave in Oregano. And that's what you get for encouraging climate change. Gosh, why didn't you just learn to turn it off? This is solely on you. Thanks a lot, Steve. You're as bad to this earth as an oil fire in the ocean. Accidentally made a magnifying glass when rain gathered on crash wrap covering a busted sunroof. <gasps> oh, 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 I think. <laughs> And thus the evil villain was born who used the power of laser beams to defeat their enemies. Got home from work, ready to have some blueberries and wine. And then the bag broke. It is at this point that you realize there is no God, there is no one, and you must scream. My fiance was in charge of getting my back. Let this forever be photographic evidence where if your partner ever mentioned in the future that they've got your back, Show them this image. Remind them why you have trust issues. Tornado-driven murder branch impales my house directly above my kid's bed. Hurry, what oh, are you doing? Oh, I just tried to do Agio broomstick and then this happened. Well, I'll Agio my foot up your bum if you don't fix this. Left my one-month-old bike for one night on the street. World Trade Center. Congratulations, your bike has evolved backwards. I see everyone's Legos for all time and raise you a half-chewed ostrich bone. At least I bought fun band-aids last week. Okay, I'm sorry, what? Could, could someone try to take a guess at what the hell this is about without looking at the image coming up next? Here's the image. I'm, I'm confused. Did you step on the ostrich bone? Was it eaten by your dog and then you stepped on it? Why do you have that ma You do not need that many band-aids. You are wasting the rarity of the beautiful Super Mario band-aids. Black cab ran me over, dragged my left for a few feet, backed away and drove off. Okay, hold, so you got dragged by this car. Uh, wow, can you tell us what brand of shoes they are? Because <laughs> that is some advertising. I I'm amazed your foot isn't more disfigured at this point. Worked with concrete without gloves. I d didn't know it's corrosive. Oh god, do not- n Oh, I do not want to see any corroding hands, please. No gore today, thanks. Oh, okay. Oh, it's bandaged. All right, okay. I can handle that. What were you doing with that middle finger, though, that it wasn't affected like the other fingers? Were you just flipping people off while you're dealing with the concrete? Yeah, suck it in. Oh, I've got concrete. <laughs> oh, what's, what's my finger doing on the floor there? Company sent mismatched pieces of my new couch today. They don't make the couch anymore. Oh, look. It's every single white couple in their mid-40s. Together, but not. No, no, hang on. I'm being too harsh. Uh, put a toddler that's just trying to climb in between them but struggling to get to the other side because the other one's not being as attached. Turned 18 yesterday. It now is 12 hours later and here I am in a train to I don't know where after being kicked out for not cleaning enough. Thanks, mom. This is obviously a dark and twisted moment in your life, but I will say it. This is the best thing you could have happened. She does not deserve you. You freaking, you are free. Go achieve your life. I look forward to seeing you on wholesome memes slash made me smile one day, posting about how much better your life is now that you're free of such a stupid parent. Got this permanently burnt into my display. Is it a pee pee? Is it a pee pee? Oh, it's not a pee pee. Well, that still sucks, I guess. But also irony for constantly looking at r slash well, that sucks. <laughs> Or is it poetry? I guess it's both the same thing. My AirPods battery expanded and the warranty expires today. 
The battery also melted the plastic, so it's now impossible to take the individual headphones out. Oh, that is one chunky AirPod. Damn, boy, them's thick. Presenting the latest upgrade in AirPods. Simply leave out in the sun for 30 minutes, and it can turn into the Air Stone, the newest smart device to hurl at your enemies. My fiance's family farm after a windstorm last night. Oh, I, I don't know how much of that is full damage, but that bit at the front there... That looks damaged. It's moments like these where I'm glad I play a farm simulator and not an actual farm. Tanned a bit too much while wearing shoes. Kids call them my chimp feet. <laughs> You're hairy. My mom ran over a mattress on the way home and it got caught under the rear driver's side wheel and caught fire. Whoa. Oh, damn. You're talking about the whole car. Gee, I, whoa. I was expecting maybe a photo of like a mattress that had been run over and like you could see it was all burnt to a crisp, but damn. Oh, oh, that is not a fun time. When you finally win family bingo and your prize is Jeffilt fish. What? What the hell is Jeffilt fish? I'm going to Google this. Okay, Jeffilt fish is a dish made from a poached mixture of ground deboned fish, such as carp, whitefish, or pike. All right, it's just minced fish. A bit hypocritical of me to find that disgusting when I enjoy beef mince. Oh! Crying. Oh, the pain in their eyes. <laughs> I've been looking at this photo for the last five minutes. I'm just, I just, oh, he's so pained. He's in so much pain. I've worked with kids a lot, okay? I'm allowed to laugh at them suffering. My town's only Burger King burned down yesterday, taking flame grilled burgers to the next level. A moment of silence for the unfortunate death of an American Hungry Jacks. The burgers are now not only better at Hungry Jacks, but in heaven as well. <laughs> Came home to the studio like this. Oh boy, look at all that musical and expensive electrical equipment submerged. Hey, you can't blame Mother Nature. They just, they saw you on that treadmill, they heard you planning to install a pool or spa at some point, and they just wanted to help you out, man. Peas, whatever they are, went in our supply closet. Looks like we forgot to give these out. Bye bye, bye, -bye Ronnie. Ate half a head of broccoli, only to discover it was full of bugs. No, no. This is why I buy frozen bags, not. Oh god, I can see it in the form. This is why I buy Brussels sprouts. I, I know that probably doesn't make a difference because they probably still eat those things too, but still. Boyfriend decided to try out a new hairdresser. Oh, prepare yourselves. Oh, <laughs> that is. That is a talented fade. What do you call this? A male Karen? Uh, a Craig? Carl? I'm gonna go Carl. My mother took up a hair cutting course nine years ago. Oh, did you make that guy's hair do? With just little practice, she confidently lured my brother in for a haircut. Oh, so it was you. This is the result. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it frightens me that there are hairdressers that exist who have this sort of education. I mean, look, look, okay, you got, you got the hairstyle, okay? It's just not on the right person at all. I was a zombie extra in a cable show. Oh, nice. They were going for a foaming at the mouth. It ended up being, took a load to the face. <laughs> Honey, I don't think you were in a, uh, <laughs> a very family-oriented zombie movie. <laughs> Remember, kids, even if you use protection, you should always get a health checkup afterwards. My freezer broke two days ago, and I didn't notice, so now all of the meat we had in it is bad. Oh, that is a vegan's nightmare! Jax, get out of here! We don't need the boy band right now! Oh, oh fine, fine then. then. Friend of mine hid my AirPods in a box of chicken nuggets that I proceeded to microwave without opening the box. Hi, I'm Steve Jobs Ghost, presenting the new Air Frick You, the upgrade from the AirPods. We steal your AirPods, put some squiggly eyes on them, and then just throw it in the microwave. Why? Because Air Frick You. I bit down on a bite of blueberry pancake. Uh huh, uh huh, I'm sure. Good try trying to cover up this murder. Cuff him, boys. There goes our precious pie. Uh, what? How is that? Are you sure that's a pie that looks more like a pizza? But I mean, even then, how. 
How was that achieved? Like, this goes beyond a one-star service. This is just... <laughs> this is just shame. Oh, speaking of pizza, this one was delivered on its side. Well, at least you know which part to pick to get the best slice. No, I want the most diabetes. Our entire hotel got seized by police on the first morning of our honeymoon. I guess that's what happens when your love and romance for each other is too addicting. <laughs> you like drugs. <laughs> and they've come to seize you. Get in the van. <laughs> What's the safe word? I forgot the safe word. Yesterday, our neighbor's 80 low Locust tree gave us some live edge skylights, a great view of the stars, and that rainforest cafe atmosphere that our living room had just always been missing. No injuries, uh, dog peed the bed, life goes on. That is a very mature mindset to have, despite what I'm. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm looking at the image now that. <laughs> I, I guess at that point, you really can just look at the bright side in a way. I mean, to be fair, it actually kind of does look pretty cool. <laughs> just like trees branching in. I'm not saying that the neighbors should have to compensate for this, but I mean, it's in a way, it's an interesting upgrade. My car this morning. <laughs> oh, looks like someone had a bit of a spin out. I guess you could say they, uh scooted away once they did the damage. <laughs> I guess you could say your glass window is broken. <laughs> yeah, Alright, I'll see myself out. Headed to the airport and halfway there, look down. Thanks for the Father's Day gift. Kids, the slippers are very comfortable. I guess I'm doing some shoe shopping at my destination. Oh, I realize now. <laughs> He forgot to change out of his best slippers. Don't you dare change them, sir! Everyone must know the hierarchy of dads of which you reside. Good to see things are still going bad for Chimp Daddy, though. You stay strong, Chimp Daddy. Lost my phone at a construction site today. Found it a little later. Oh, look, safe and sound. It's still useful. This is a paperweight. So I had a sneezing fit while driving yesterday, and... Oh, hot diggity damn, son. That is just... Wow, they should add literal hay fever sickness is one of the uh, dangers with driving. A spider decided that I should be the next Spider-Man and jumped to my face. Fell hands first to marble flooring from 14 feet. <gasps> ah, what a cop out. You know what? I reckon that spider thought it was the spider from Spider-Man 2. It's just like a kid who thinks they can fly so they jump off a building. That spider tried it. What I'm trying to say is you should sue that spider. Like, you clearly have evidence against him. My son teased his sister and she threw a switch controller at my parents' 75-inch TV. Ha 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 ha. This is why you don't have kids. On the bright side, this is a great opportunity to educate your children on involuntary repayments. Buckle up, boys and girls. You're not getting any Christmas presents for the next 10 years. Found this today in a park and ride. Someone is gonna have a bad time when they get back to their car. Ooh. <laughs> to those who say red makes it go faster, what you say now? Waited five years for this cactus to bloom. Leaving for a five day trip, I noticed this. Oh no, oh no, it's about to bloom. <laughs> Are you sure you can't just carry it around as carry-on? I mean, it it doesn't look massive. It's doable, maybe? If you have friends who can plant it, now is the time to use them. My poor thermometer can't move any closer to the temperatures of hell. Life in Las Vegas. Oh, damn. It's like as if you guys live in a desert or something. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Ordered a new chlorinator for the pool. The instructions came on VHS. We here at New Water like to educate our new customers through the most advanced technology to date. Broke my ankle, wrist, and tore my ACL and a tendon in my thumb on my wedding day. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah, that's the least you can do. Just thumbs up. <laughs> that's, yeah. I guess now when someone asks if your wedding cost you an arm and a leg, you can be quite literal about it. Walked into the Cairo for minor back pain. Left in a wheelchair straight to the ER with paralyzing sciatic nerve pain. Oof, I am sorry you dealt with that, sir. On the bright side, potential future Drift King. Bought some raw honey for the first time at a farmer's market. Knocked it off the counter getting something else out of the bag. I'm sorry, I'm a little silent here because I'm just so mad for you. 
it's my birthday, and I'm spending it alone. Cheers to 22. Same though, same. Spent a lot of mine alone, man. Sometimes it's wanted though. Sometimes I genuinely want to spend it alone. It's nice and comfy, but I get it. Unknown insect bite. Well, I guess just keep going to the doctors and keep an eye on it for the love of God. Mother Nature decided that this BMW should be a convertible. Uh, yeah. Mother Nature's got an interesting taste in cars. Why just break one ankle when you can break both? I don't know. I'd rather not break either personally, but ouch. The cat went under my covers to throw up. Okay, well, I guess it's time to eat the cat. Dinner time. Haven't driven my car since I last got groceries. Found the missing milk under the seat. It rotted for several days. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you're never getting that <laughs> smell out. Never. Had a sandwich from the market wrapped from the deli like they wrap meat in the meat department. Didn't grab the sandwich one this morning. <laughs> oh, well, time to go make some lunch. Local liquor store went under and left this note. Thank you for the years of support at Zen. Love, Dave, Aura, and Caleb. P.S. We're drinking the rest. <laughs> Dropping a medical injection worth $12,000 on the carpet and bending the needle. Oh, man. Also worth $12,000. Is it really worth $12,000 or is that just what they say it's worth? This is important. There's an important distinction here. Current heat wave has caused my glass table to explode. All over my freshly painted decking. Aw, oh, man. What's the purpose of an outdoor table that's clearly not rated for the outdoors? Went fishing. Caught two branches in a row. Went to take a sip of my Arizona, except there was a bee in it. <laughs> Man, what a great trip. Having to throw out $50,000 worth of frozen items at work. Right, having to throw them out. Yeah, I f <laughs> love it here. Makes total sense. Yeah, cool. Obviously not being a sarcastic ass for you because you probably feel the same way that I do, but just wow, mind numbing. Tempered glass lid shattered, giving me Schrodinger's stir fry. I wouldn't eat that now. About to head to the gym. Ugh, what? Oh, uh, that does suck. It's not that bad though. Just don't buy beets next time. I'm an idiot and my wife won't stop laughing at me. I can see why she won't stop laughing at you. <laughs> Didn't realize until halfway through eating that these chocolates had legs and are ants. Oh, holy sh! No, <laughs> no, 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 I'm done. Oh my god. Don't think that's how an exhaust should look like. It's not. It's really not, though. Last coat of varnish and a moth decided to do a dive bomb. Thanks. Thanks, you little freak. Ordered a grommet coffee mug online. <laughs> okay, that would be my prized mug. I'm sorry. I know what you expected, but this is way better than what you were thinking you were gonna get. Brand new box of nails forgotten outside for four days. Jesus, that's a little bit pathetic on the nails part. Also, where do you live, the rainforest? Hey, my son ran into your car on his bike. Sorry about the scratch. Yeah, apology totally accepted, cause that's how this f works. First, I thought it was rice on my garbage can this morning, but after a closer look, they were moving. Oh, dude. <sighs> Today is just full of really nasty stuff, isn't it? The glass in my lizard's tank randomly exploded in the middle of a thunderstorm. What? What is up with the glass? And what's, okay, you know what, no, no. What's up with stuff randomly exploding pretty much across the board in today's pickings, huh? I have about 70 bites on my legs, going a steady 10 bites a night. No one in my house knows what's biting me. Uh, I think you might have the worst case of bed bugs in human history. It's really time to get a new bed, like now. You know what, no, like yesterday. Take that mattress out there, burn it in the backyard. No joke. Guess who ran out of paint? Uh-oh, well, <laughs> just go get some more, I guess. Just a little touch-up can, man. Made something special for a guy I was hanging out with slash seeing for a couple of months. Just finished it by the time he got cold feet and ghosted, sharing here since I won't be giving it to him. Aw, well that just makes me sad. The box said 3,000 pieces. A week of quarantine tells me it's 2,009. 999. Ah, of course it is. It's another puzzle with one missing piece. Oh, that seems to be so common. My uncle rode his motorcycle from Florida to New York. Just before he got to my house, his phone slipped out of his pocket on the highway. Of course. 
Of course. <laughs> the people who have to deal with this need a raise. Yes, they really, really do. 100% dude. My boss's secretary quit this morning after delivering breakfast. Well, I'm still gonna eat him anyway. Can't scare me off. My mom regularly works 70 hour weeks and tomorrow she has a day off. She bought a bottle of rum to relax with tonight and my cat broke it two minutes after she got home. Well, you better be nice and make your cat go and buy your mom a new bottle of rum. Just got home with me new shoes. About to go for a run. No, you're not. I'm sorry, but you unfortunately are not. Drilled into a sprinkler pipe and soaked every apartment from mine, fourth floor, down. Well, Egg on your face, dude. Egg on your face. Found a living black widow in my organic grapes. Holy sh**, dude. I'd be going back to the grocery store to say, hey, bro, there's a black widow in here and an egg sack. Left my husband alone for five minutes while painting. I'm so mad. I'm legitimately mad. How do you f do that. I'm speechless. I'm sorry, guys. Stainless steel, two weeks old. Yeah, what in the world, Ikea? Come on. Had a martial arts competition on Friday, but I decided to faint at the exit of SeaWorld, causing me to break my jaw and have to get 10 plus stitches. Ow. Jesus, man. I didn't have my period for three months. Now, of all things, I got it on my wedding day along with the worst cramps I've ever had. My wedding is up in the mountains. Oh, I'm sorry about that, dude. What in the world? Had a toothache. Turned into shingles. Fun stuff. Tooth still hurts, though. Oh, God. When it rains, it pours, my guy. <sighs> Craving pizza, but convinced myself to get groceries and make a healthy dinner instead. Why do I even try? Oh, bro. Yeah. Going back to the store with that thing, dude. My mom ordered a TV delivered by FedEx. <gasps> uh oh. For me, for my birthday. We just opened it to turn it on and, yep. That's FedEx for you. Straight up, that's just FedEx, man. It's unfortunate. Hit a bird on my way to work this morning. Oh, God. <laughs> Of course you had to be driving a motorcycle. <laughs> a little bit less dramatic if it was a car, but still saddening. Was in a middle seat and paid extra money to upgrade to a window seat. I'd be getting my goddamn money back. I'd show them this photo and I would be getting that extra cash back ASAP. Also, I wouldn't be able to fly if there were no window there. I'm sorry, I can't. Whenever all of y'all close your <laughs> window shutters around me, I go into panic mode. I couldn't fly like this. $400 window replacement to steal a pair of $20 headphones I found at Goodwill. Nice. Very, very worth it and epic, guys. Very cool. Bought my first house and it came with a shed. Turns out the previous owner wired the shed himself and rewired parts of the house. Call an electrician right now. Holy sh**, <laughs> do it now before you all die. I'm glad I had my feet firmly on the ground while this happened otherwise. <laughs> oh, jeez. You almost changed your lifestyle entirely, my friend. Two teams of builders building a bike lane on the right side in Ukraine. Oh boy. Yep. <sighs> Idiots were looking the wrong direction, I guess. Didn't think I had to assemble the bowl. Well, you didn't get it from Ikea, did you? Because remember how that one works. Got home from work, ready to have some blueberries and wine. And then the bag broke. Whoops. <laughs> oh, at least a couple of those blueberries are still good, right? Come on, you could eat like two, maybe three. Can't do much for the wine, though. I'm sorry about that. That's a bummer. There is now a new building outside of my window. Goodbye sunlight for the the next four to six years. Oh, it's right outside your window. Jesus. It's practically kissing the building you live in. Needed a clearer picture for a plant recognition app, so I got closer. Poison Ivy. Oh, buddy, you better wash that hand fast, dude. <laughs> Found out what my concrete steps are actually made of. Oh, it's not concrete then, huh? <laughs> Plane crashed in a buddy's backyard. Holy God, it did. Also, your buddy's backyard is freaking huge. Wow. I'm sorry, it's beautiful back there. Plain or not, you have mail. I accidentally threw your parcel on top of the roof. My apologies. Use maybe a broom to get it down? How the hell could you accidentally throw someone's package on the roof? I do appreciate the suggestion of knocking it down with a broom though. Thanks a lot. My air conditioner stopped working for a few days. My house got so hot and humid, it sealed my entire Costco-sized case of envelopes. 
<laughs> oh, man. At least it was from Costco. You probably paid, what, $4 for all those envelopes? I think it's fine. Also, what kind of amateur doesn't store their envelopes in a climate-controlled room? <laughs> oh, that's separate from the main house, I mean. You know what I'm talking about. Yay! Ketchup finger time! Thanks a lot, Heinz, you bunch of assholes. What's the point of putting one of those seals on there if it doesn't work right? And by work right, I mean peel off. You know what? Whatever. Remember Action Park? Their water slide just caught fire. I do remember Action Park. Maybe this is a good thing, though? I mean, if a water slide catches fire, maybe it's about time that place gets retired. You know what I'm saying? Losing your glasses while rock climbing. <laughs> Are you sure that's not just a ghost floating up to give them back to you? Is that where the gluten was? Yeah. Yep, that's where it usually is, right up there. How the hell does this happen, by the way? Does anybody know? Living in Arizona, the thermometer's capped out in the shade and it's still spring. Yeah, I'm never gonna visit Arizona. Well, okay, how about this? I'll visit Arizona in the dead of winter because then at least it's not gonna hit 120 degrees. Fingers crossed on that one, though. It's just like Bobby Hill said, Phoenix, Arizona is a monument to man's arrogance. On the first day of my trip to Washington, D.C., I got hit by a car. Sounds a lot like Toby in the office when he went to- where did he go? It doesn't matter. He didn't really enjoy his trip either. Guess who found a pile of horse crap at the park? Aww. <laughs> I guess it's time for a bath. How does this even happen? Well, let's take a look. Oh my god, yeah. I couldn't tell you. I'm curious myself. <laughs> my keys decided I'm not going anywhere today. Oh, uh, you have another door to the house, right? You're gonna have to rip that screen door right off, man. Going to medical school in the United States. About to be $126,000 more on June 25th. Wow, this is f pathetic. Not pathetic that you're going to school to do something that you love and care about. Pathetic that we make these numbers up. It doesn't actually cost this much, and if you think it does, you're f deluded. Today is my lucky day. My friend, it doesn't look like that is the case, but I do admire the confidence. My friend's lunch. Well, it's not really your friend's lunch anymore, is it? Also, Jesus, that's a lot to eat anyway. Is your friend a bear? Arizona problems. Left my credit card in my car and it melted. Oh, this is why we need to move to contactless. Then it wouldn't matter. Warning, your computer is too old to run Minecraft 1.17 plus. You'll need to buy a new computer to continue playing the higher versions of Minecraft. Uh, no, that's not how this works. Started my internship today, squatted down to get my phone and my pants ripped. Sorry, man, I'm just taking that all in. Do you have to tell your boss? You have to go home and get a new pair of pants? Kids decided to prank me by hiding a permanent marker along with a set of temporary tattoo ones. Peter Griffin will be with me for a while. <laughs> Whoops. At least you did a pretty good job, though. Red Robin has pizza now, but when you customize the order, it defaults to no cheese and no sauce. I didn't notice it until I got home from curbside pickup. Why the hell would it default to that? Here's some burnt bread with pepperoni on top, assholes. Unbelievable. Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go, Dad. So the roofers went to the wrong home this morning. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. That other person's not gonna be very happy. I know what you're thinking, but they're getting a new roof. Not really, they got a tiny little segment of new roof, and they're probably still going to get a bill for it, even though they had no interest in having the work done. Water resistant to 330 feet only, not a millimeter on the shower shelf. It's a very strict rule, apparently. It's probably because of all the steam. It's hot in the shower. Unless you take cold ones, which that's all you, bud. Someone at USPS tried to fold my package with a rare record inside. A hundred dollars gone, and now one less of them in the world. Hmm. Guess who's going to be taking them for a ride? You know, I'm a big fan of the Postal Service, personally. I've worked with them plenty of times in my past, but... Why do they always do this? Why the f do you guys bend stuff? Quit bending sh Thought I was smart ordering a 90 degree cable for my cell phone holder. <laughs> you thought though. <laughs> After eight hours of work, my flask slipped out of my hand and shattered just before I could purify my product. Oh man. I'm sorry, dude. Can we get a moment of silence? So I had a sneezing fit while driving yesterday and oh, oh my guy. Oh, and it had to be a beamer too. That's gonna hurt. My car this morning. Nice. 
real f nice. A hit and run is totally fine if they chuck a goddamn scooter into your rear window. That moment when you get home, open the bag, and realize you're a dumbass. <laughs> I've done something to that effect before. We've all been there, man. You're just on autopilot. My shorts ripped while cycling to work. I live 10 miles away. Well, at least you fixed them real good. So much for Sunday bum day. For what? What does that mean? Oh, look at that. Your 10 millimeters never coming back, my friend. I may or may not have mistook this for toothpaste this morning. Oh no! <laughs> oh, yuck. This tree hit my house last night. I am so, so sorry, my friend. I thought I was having a bad day until I drove by this. Why is this so freaking common? These, oh man, there are heights clearly posted on these bridges, always. At my apartments, you need a key fob for entry. Only problem is I forgot my key inside. I walked out and let the door shut behind me before realizing he wasn't outside yet. Now we wait. <sighs> brilliant, brilliant design. Decided to go sit on the beach for an hour a few days ago. Managed to get sun poisoning so badly that my elbow doubled in size. Sun poisoning, huh? Clothes because someone shit on the floor. Angry face. And this is what people get paid $7.25 an hour to deal with. Wife helped me put sunscreen on. She did a great job. No collision or vandalism. The window just decided it didn't want to be a part of our car anymore. Oh, nice. It just popped out and tried to escape. Ordered wings for lunch. Banana for scale. What? Uh-uh. I'm going to get my money back right now. Just trying to wake up is hard sometimes. Oh, God. What in the world happened there? Did you drop the carafe or did it explode? Either way, my condolences, my friend. Some days are just bound to be sh**. My house is flooded with sewage. I told the landlord about this tiny leak two days ago and the repair guys were supposed to be here this morning. <laughs> Looks like you're not paying rent ever again. Cause I know I sure as f wouldn't be. I'd be taking someone to court. Brand new roll of wrapping paper wasn't quite big enough to cover the box. Too late to go out and get more. Hopefully he won't see. <laughs> Oh, just pretend there's wrapping paper here. It's a big box, okay? 